With Christmas just around the corner, a tool like this Alloyman digital tape measurer makes a perfect gift for a family member into DIY. Aside from it having a max measuring distance of 16 feet or about 5 meters, this digital tape measure also comes with Bluetooth capabilities for app support under iOS and Android devices. The app also allows for recording up to 50 sets of historical data, which is very useful for saving measurement data in one location. Here are some of the specifications to the digital tape measure. It's got a 500 mAh battery to power the device, along with an OLED display for displaying various functions and other important data. You can pause the video here to read more. As for what's in the box, we do get the instruction manual, which has two QR codes for both iOS and Android to download the app. It also comes with a USB Type-A to Type-C cable to charge the device, and the digital tape measure itself. It is nicely sized, which will also fit nicely in a small work bag. Taking a closer look, there are a few buttons on the side of the device. The large red button is for turning on the tape measure as well as keeping track of a previous measurement. There is also a function, unit, and power off button. On the back, we have the USB Type-C port for charging the device and the lanyard. Nothing too much going on on this side, but you will notice that there is no belt clip. On the front, there is a large button to retract the tape, and on the top, we have the OLED display. Since it is missing the belt clip as we saw, the tape measure still at least includes a lanyard for hanging it onto a pegboard or something similar. There's not much to brag about build quality as the exterior is just made of mostly plastic and rubber. Now in terms of weight, I'm going to go ahead and see how the Alloy Man compares to my Master Force 16 feet measuring tape. On the scale, the Master Force weighs 369.4 grams. And as for the Alloy Man, it weighs in at 243.4 grams, which is significantly lighter than the Master Force. It does have a feature to toggle front or rear reference. This is useful when you are measuring the inside of a window, or in this case, between two of these studs. I'm using rear reference here, which will account for the tape measure itself as it is 3.2 inches in length. This means I won't have to bend the tape in order to get this measurement. With the standard tape measure, I'll have to bend the tape in order to take measurement. But also when doing so, the tape doesn't necessarily fold perfectly in the corner, meaning I'll have to make a small estimate here. The auto lock feature is also nice so that the tape won't retract on accident when you forget to lock it. Of course, the only way to retract it, even if you want to retract just a millimeter or two, you'll have to press the retract button. Using the large red button, we can keep track of a previous measurement. The previous measurement is stored at the top portion of the display, which is helpful so you won't have to remember or write it down somewhere. Pressing and holding the function button will bring up the menu. Here we have settings to view previous historical data, turn on or off the button sounds, and reverse the LED display for left-handed users. Another feature this digital tape measure has is being able to measure length, area, and volume on the device itself. As for the app, I'll be setting this up via iOS, but the steps should be similar to Android devices as well. Using the camera and tapping on the iOS QR code, this brings me to the App Store to download the Try Some Measure app. Let's install it and open it. With the app installed and running, It'll go through a short tutorial. After the tutorial, I'll allow the app to access Bluetooth. Now to pair the tape measure to the app, turn on the tape measure, and on the phone, tap on the red X icon at the top left to add Bluetooth devices. In the list of devices, look for ET030 and tap on it. Now we are paired. The app will reflect the measurement on the display of the measuring tape. The refresh is really quick and I'm not noticing any delays between the tape measure and the app. Since the app is connected, when pressing the red measure button, the measurements are stored inside these history slots within the app. This is great so you won't have to manually enter them on your phone or write them down somewhere. This is rather quick and efficient as all the data is in one location here. For some reason, the app won't allow me to change the unit of measure. It's fixed at millimeters and there doesn't seem to be anything else in the app that can change that. As I can change the unit on the device itself, the app does not change accordingly, which I think is a missed opportunity. In terms of practicality, the app really is good for recording historical data and exporting them via JPEG, TXT, and CSV file. Overall, I think this is a very nice improvement from a standard tape measure, but of course only time can tell. 
I do wish it had a flashlight in the front which can be useful to illuminate the tape in darker places. Aside from that, it does come with a 24 month warranty along with technical support. With the addition to electronic components, there's no argument of a possibility for electronic failure sometime down the road, for example, the battery which will naturally degrade over time due to recharge cycles. I would also be careful not to drop this device too many times or else you will probably be left with just a normal tape measure. But as for a gift for a family member who is into DIY projects, something like this makes a great gift. Prices are always fluctuating around this time of year, especially during the holidays, but at the time of this review, you can purchase this digital tape measure for $49.99 on the Alloy Man website. I would like to thank Alloy Man for sending me this product for review. If you found this video to be helpful, please leave a like or comment. Consider subscribing and follow me on Instagram. Your support really goes a long way. As always, thanks for watching.